Guys, Dave Anderson here, Heli Cools Helipad. There's two major things that I want to accomplish in this video, and the first being I want to modify that battery box so it fits on there really nice and stops ponding copious amounts of water and dirt and mud and yuck. I want to fix that, and the next thing is I want to prove Kirchhoff's law to you. You guys stay tuned. Well, all right, with the box top off to the side getting uh, dried up and setting, let's go ahead and start work on Kirchhoff's Law. Now, this is going to be a pretty cool setup, so um, I'm going to need a few parts. Let's just start scavenging and see what we can come up with. I know, before you say anything, just remember, this is a parts car. <laughs> all right, so this is my elaborate setup it's such such a laboratory of experimental stuff let's just see if this even fires up oh yeah the lights light up that's good good deal okay now to get some measurements across these batteries okay the first measurement across the batteries 12.3 All right, 12.2, let's go 12.3. 12.3 on both. All right, now let's uh, get these things hooked up. Now, I'm gonna test the one that, this is coming off of this first battery here. This is the battery on the side of the lights. I'm showing now 12 volts. Now let's see what this one has. 12 volts. Eleven nine. Eleven nine. So it looks like they're about equal right now. All right, so now I'm going to hook the battery charger up to just this one battery. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Well, I charged the batteries across positive to negative um, crossways across both batteries, and then also positive to negative 
across this way as well and i'm pretty sure that these batteries are toast because this rose the other day from 70 to 100 in less than just a few minutes so i'm going to have to come up with a different set of batteries or a different way to do this test to prove kirk Goff's law to you all right three two one start 12.90, 12 12.8483, 12 12.80, yeah, they're both running right in sync with each other, and it is rapidly decaying. Yeah, it's just further proof that these batteries are toast. Uh, this thing right now is showing 12.9293. Twelve point nine two nine three. Well, this thing also goes down to about twelve point four, something like that. So it keeps oscillating up and down and up and down. Um, so that tells me that there's some bubbles or some kind of issues with these batteries. And it doesn't matter how long that I do this test, it's just not going to work because these batteries are they're they're done. They're over with. So now I got to figure out a new way of testing. You know, I might be able to find something online or somebody might have a picture. Let's go see what I can find on the internet. All right, guys, so this is what I found on the internet. And although this is a 24 volt and 48 volt battery bank in parallel, it does show the right concept. And I want to point out here, Connect your charging and load cables on opposite corners of the bank for an even charging distribution. You will connect your charging and load cables where it says make positive and negative connections here. Your load connections will be to your inverter or other draw of power away from your batteries. And then it goes on to say when you parallel batteries, the opposite of series happens. The voltage stays the same and the amp hours double. Again, make your positive and negative charging and load connections at opposite corners of the battery bank. Even the battery tender depiction shows opposite corners of where the ground and positive leads are connected. This one wire system, however, is an inefficient way to deliver power from battery to battery. In this depiction, you can see two leads coming across. This doubles the amount of wire available to transfer power back and forth across those battery systems. And yet in this depiction, the positive and negative are in opposite corners. The 24 volt system is set up that way on our trucks, but uh oh, the 12 volt system is not. In the end, this is what the battery schematic should look like to maximize the power both in the 24 volt side and the 12 volt side. As you can now plainly see in our original battery configuration, this battery just gets left in the dust. Well, I hope that makes that a little bit clearer. I'll leave a couple of links in the description so that you can check off more information on Kirchhoff's Law. Get the most efficiency out of your batteries by following the diagram. One last little touch to button this thing up. Well, I have a little bit more cleaning up to do, but man, that thing hasn't fit that well ever. And no more ponding of <laughs> mud and scum on the top of this thing. Well, hey guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this series on the battery compartment and getting all of that ready. Next time we'll be doing some fuel filter changes and I have a couple of tricks up my sleeve for that. Until then, Thanks so much for watching. I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe out there and God bless. Hey guys, keep smashing on that like button, leave some comments, and you'll get more videos just like this one. Okay, okay, good Lord. This thing is going to keep shining in my face until you smash that like button and leave a comment. Please save me from the agony and the torture of this device and click on that like button. Leave a comment. That's always appreciated.
Go ahead, please. Do it now. These lights are killing me.